the future. I'm going to, uh, since we have a technology uh, crowd in the, uh, in, in the audience here, I'm going to just take you through a bit of a whirlwind of what the future might, might hold. Will mobile devices look like this, kind of weird? Or they might come in totally different form factors, depending on, on what you need. Uh, flexible, thin fl film uh, smartphones that might fit right inside your wallet. Uh, here's a, a mobile phone that has a pop-out, uh, whatever you would call this, that gives you a full display of watching movies or videos or something like that. Here's a smartphone that will project a keyboard onto any flat surface to let you use a full keyboard as you're traveling on the road. Or maybe we'll all end up with something like this, I don't know. <laughs> uh, or if you're Pranav Mystery at MIT, you can maybe use his Sixth Sense system where he has a, a, a wearable computer that uses gesture recognition so that he can simply hold his hands up, up like this and take a picture of something. Or he can actually project his phone onto his hand and actually dial a number and phone a friend with his uh, Sixth Sense device. Or if he's in a grocery store trying to buy some toilet paper, his Sixth Sense system can recognize that toilet paper, compare it to some criteria he has specified about what he is looking for in toilet paper, and project right onto the product that there's not enough recycled content in this particular brand. You better put it down and pick up another one. Uh, or what, what else might these wearable computers look like? You've all seen the Google Glass example. Uh, it could be a watch, so a lot of talk about uh, creating something called an iWatch. Maybe that would be easier than carrying around our smartphones. Could be something like a bracelet, or me maybe even a Bluetooth-enabled ring. Maybe we're heading, heading into that small. Uh, or in this particular example here, Innovega has actually created compact wearable displays that you wear right on your eye. So now maybe we don't need to carry anything around. And if this, if this wasn't enough, uh, here's the final example of the best wearable computer right there that I think we discovered several years ago. But by the way, that's a lot better than this wearable computer, wouldn't you agree? But I think if we get some fashion designers involved, because the Google one isn't quite fashionable enough yet, we might end up with something like this.